Yeah. And this is Damascus, just to put things into perspective. <laughs> okay. As he, that is Paul, neared, Damas neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. <laughs> he fell to the ground. Ah! <laughs> and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you per persecute me? Why you love? I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men traveling with Saul stood there speechless. They heard the sound, but did not see anyone. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand to Damascus. For three days he was blind and did not eat or drink anything. In Damascus there was a disciple named Ananias. The Lord called to him in a vision. Ananias. Yes, Lord. Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for the man from Tarsus named Saul, for he is praying. In a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him to restore his sight. But Lord, I have heard many reports about this man, and all the harm he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. And he has come here with authority from the chief priest to arrest us all who call on your name. Go. This man is my chosen instrument to carry my name before the Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Then Ananias went to the house and entered it. Placing his hands on Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who has appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me to you, so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Spirit. 